Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien in Bubba here on Thursday, uh, August uh, 14th, I believe. On that, uh, sitting in for Paul Harvey this morning. Stand by for the rest of the story. Well, the war had ended, and the two young men, brothers, were taking stock of what they were going to do next. There was new territory that had been won over the war and needed exploration. So they took odd jobs here and there, but they, for the most part, for the next decade, went to the business of exploring. And ten years later, somehow they separated. History doesn't record how, but they did. But the one brother that uh, found a way to the new territories, so specifically the West, so he got some settlers, and they crossed the mountains through the pass that he found and established a little settlement. Now mind you that uh, by this time it was 10 years since the war and the war cost a lot of money so somebody had to pay and they were starting to get taxes. Anyway, uh, the settlement thrived for four or five years. Then they got hit by another war that had started. And they sympathized with the people that started the war but wanted to be left alone. Unfortunately, the other side's allies uh, and the other side that was pushing their allies to get rid of them and the people that lived there wanted to get rid of them because hey they were interlopers you know getting into their territory so they captured the young man or well, he was middle aged by this time and uh, he escaped went back to the settlement warned them dispatched a uh, messenger to get some help but it was 300 miles away and it would take a long time to get there so they settled into a siege they knew it was coming well for the next 14 days the siege came on and they repelled it one after the other and the opposition leader knew that there was only one way of getting them out of there, burn them out. So that's what he did. And, unbeknownst of it, uh, somebody upstairs was looking after the settlers because a big rainstorm came on, doused all the flames. The settlement was saved. A day later, reinforcements came in and proceeded to go after the bad guys. And thus, his legend grew. Unfortunately, he could never... He, he was the type of guy that was unique. He was never, he was a soldier, he was a surveyor, he was an explorer, but he always wanted to have peaceful coexistence. The settler uh, friends that he settled didn't, so the settlement that he founded threw him out two years later. Well, he went back, tried to live a normal life, but he wasn't a businessman either, and it cost him big time. So, after he served time in the legislature, he decided to move west again. 
so he moved to a new territory that they had established and lived the last two decades of his life in that new territory. And thus in 1820, <clears throat> he was a old man for his age. I mean, in the time, I mean, he lived a long age. So he was uh, almost 90 years old, just about. He was about 86 when he passed away. But the good news is that during that last year of his life, Somebody created a portrait, the only known evidence of how he looked at. So there was a painting that was created. That's the only known portrait of him in 1820. And you think you know the story, huh? Well, for the rest of the story. The settlement he created was Boomsboro. And yes, they threw him out in 1778. The, uh, he became the legislature from Virginia. And by the way, Kentucky was part of Virginia, just like all the other colonies. When the war, the French and Indian War ended in 1763. I mean, Pennsylvania had a lot of territory to the west, including what's today Ohio, uh, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin, and parts of Minnesota were parts of Pennsylvania. Virginia had Kentucky. North Carolina had Tennessee. And Georgia controlled... Uh, Alabama and uh, Mississippi there so when Daniel Boone got thrown out of Boonesboro in 1788 uh, 17 yeah 78 pardon me he went back to Virginia and became a legislature for different he was appointed legislature for different uh, counties three times so, but he was a bad businessman, and it cost him a lot. So that's why he went to Missouri in 1799, and he stayed there for the rest of his life. And by the way, you remember Fess Parker's Daniel Boone on Disney. Israel didn't live long. He died in 1784. And yes, Rebecca Ryan Boone, was as she was portrayed on the TV show. And Daniel Boone, well, he was a big man. And he became folklore in his own time. And now you know the rest of the story. What holds you don't? For one second, during the siege of Boonesboro in 17. 78 by the Shawnee Indians under Chief Blackfish. And they had called the Virginia militia to come and get him, but that was 300 miles away. What you don't know is that after Boonesboro was saved, well, by their rain, the militia came in and they were very vicious. They went after the Pawnee with a passion. They finally got the chief black chief, uh, Blackfish, and killed him very horrendously, too. His son that he adopted witnessed this at 10 years old and later on would give the Americans fits. You know him as Tecumseh, and somebody named their kid William Tecumseh Sherman in his honor. And now you know the rest of the story.